All right, guys, and welcome along to another episode here on the challenge series. Day 55, we've got four days left. And the loan's paid off. Keep down there. Loan is flat, look, bottom right. Yep, awesome. We've got 200,000 now. But I have the discrepancy with this is that the prices are set sort of per month every year. You've got to go the full year. Back on FS19, it was every couple of days I could sell a load of silage bales. So, I'm screwed. <laughs> There's no way out of this, it's not going to happen. <laughs> different games, different problems. So yeah, the, the, I'm going to get probably another two lines of silage bales, but they sell in January. i got four days, April, so what's that? March, April, yeah, January, February, April, January, February, March, April, March, April, Jesus, really? It even says there. <laughs> so, April, June, July, August, September, as you thought it is, October, November, December, January. I've got eight months. <laughs> oh well, let's get into it. Right then. So it's basically just a big harvest episode. If I remember where the buttons are. Come on, buttons. There we go. There has been an update. Well, it has, it's not a recent update now, but it has fixed the mods overwriting the input bindings. I've not had to back up the input binding file and put it back in again for ages now, and that is so nice. <laughs> it's like doing a lot of. I've got other saves and that for test games, and. Jumping in there and coming back out again, it just wiped it every time. It was starting to do my head in. It really was. But I'm very happy that Giants have fixed that little problem. But there seem to be quite a few mod related issues. We're 22. Scripting has never been my best. I can fiddle about in an XML all day long, but scripts have always been a pain in my ass. Well, she looks pretty. I remembered to wash the header as well. I say it looks pretty. It's missing a lot of paint, but I think that looks cool as hell. I do want to upgrade the combine, but it's going to cost a fortune. There is the no potato harvester yet. The, the Kano? Yeah. I could do it. That's pretty. I can't remember what headers it comes with, because I think it's a mod. Uh, where are we going? Harvesters. Should probably set it going in the field first. Yes, but I think it's a Giants mod. Rather than... Ah! No, I don't need to be in there, do we? I need to be in combinations. So it comes with that, which is six metres. But where's the header for it? <laughs> do they just fit? I don't know. Because the first one is that. It might actually not be a Giants mod because I do have the Vario pack. I forget. I know they don't have a 6 metre header. I've already looked at this. Yeah. I quite fancy that one on the New Holland, the TX. But it fits them all actually. I was eyeing up there. The CH70. I like that. And I don't think I've ever used it in anger. But that's a lot of money. It might, I think it has actually been in the sale as well. <laughs> oh well. We've got the Dominator. She does me proud. Just takes a little bit longer. I think I ended up with 7 metre on the last challenge series, which was a good idea. But for now, we are here. 38. Load course. Activate that one. It's going to start there, which is a bugger. Unfold, okay, I can do that. Uh, nearest waypoint, yep, that'll do. Right, so fire up. Oh, do we have straw enabled? Where are you? Just say, yep, it's enabled, awesome. Gets even better. Right, so we can uh, start our little run here. Got some more straw coming as well, that's good. Sells nicely. I 
think that far field over there is a problem. I made a boo-boo and didn't lime it and it turned off. Everything else is looking good. So, right. you've peak control. You land all the comp. Ah, no, you won't. Nope, wrong button. There it? there it is. That'll do. It likes to go a bit faster. There used to be a mod which had blocked the combine up, didn't there? Or was that part of uh, more realistic? I'm not sure if I extracted that. was ages ago, though. The soybeans look like. Uh, oh no, no, it's the leaves. I see now. Looks like there was something else in there. There's a barley field near me in real life, and there's something else in it. The field is riddled with something else. And it stands just above the barley. I don't know what the hell it is. I have to do a bit of research on that one. That's kind of interesting. Right, we need to check the factories. That looks like it's just dropped a pallet. They're working quite happily now that it's out of range of the silo. Uh, clothes. I do have a shed load of clothes. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're over here. I'm in the wrong place. Okay, so we'll drive this back down there, move that pallet. I've never appreciated telehandlers as much as I do in this game. But so much more manual work to do with the big bags and stuff. It's cool having a telehandler. The big bags are the they were the biggest difference for me. Because having it on a front loader you need that tool. Otherwise you can't reach. <laughs> I've ended up with this class and it's got the double boom. The range on this thing is unreal. But yeah, we've got plenty of clothes and I think... They need selling today? Yes, they do. Ah, that's going to be interesting then. How much are they going for at the minute? I know it's a fortune. What about the animals? Yeah, we're alright there. Finally, finally, finally got the sheep where I want them. And they're not going to be done for ages now, so I'm out of sheep. Uh, their health is why they're in a different group. They get to, so they get to 3k, then it slows down, so it's worth selling at 3k. I might get another load of them out. And what we have to wear after? Clothes. These things are worth an absolute fortune. Yeah, and it's going up. So we have a lot of money coming in. Could get a new combine. I'm not going to finish in day 59, so... <laughs> but I want to play the game a little bit differently, though, after I finish this series. And I'm having trouble with the pallets for the net wrap. They do not behave at all. I was having trouble with those fillable pallets as well, but I changed those settings basically these settings they say we're bouncing around all over the place now they behave fine but the net wrap pallets they're just a mass I don't know what's going on with them there we go there we go so the combine needs to work and we need to get all these pallets loaded up That's going to be the best way of doing it. Probably putting it to the end. So yeah, this episode is going to be me playing around with pallets. Fun times. <laughs> I think I'll put a pause on it and sort it out, get it delivered. It's just in the way, isn't it? I'll do some uh, clever wizardry. Put it on an angle. Come on. Try not going the field. That'll do. Famous last words. Take the straps that I've left on off. Uh, that one, yes. I do remember some things, look. <laughs> oh, we've got another pallet as well. Get in. It's like nine. It's nine times three. Twenty-seven? Twenty-seven, so two hundred and seventy thousand. 
give or take. Definitely enough money for a new combine. In fact, that is enough money for a potato harvester. It's going to be easier doing in cap. No, because I can't see the bottom of the forks to put it in a pallet. The tool display mod, I haven't noticed that been released yet either. I like that mod. That made life so much easier. You're going to stay, I'm just going to do the cheeky bit. There we go. I like this particular mod. I can't remember what it's called now. But you can hit the unfold option and it removes the collision on the tines. Yeah, you see, I have no idea if that's on the floor or not. No gauge on this one either. Or is there? I'm not seeing anything. No. no. So I don't know if it's on the floor or not. Bother. It's not. <laughs> right guys, I'm going to stick a pause on then. And I'll bring you back when this trailer is loaded. I made a boo-boo there. I forgot about the uh, leaning button. <laughs> She's perfect for this. So I've actually managed to load the trailer in cab. Which was alright when I didn't forget that Pete was running the combine and barley fills up fast. It's another downside to a small combine. It's only got a little grain tank. I managed to do that without turning off the thing as well. Ha <laughs> ha! Winning! There we go. Sorted. Uh, let's put it back in normal driving position. And this is going to the other side of the map. There we go. Break on. Let's go strap down. This is not the best loading job I've ever done in my life, but. Ooh, that's a devil. I think that one caught it. It nipped it down. Alright, <laughs> losing 30 grand's worth of clothes on my travels. That wouldn't be good, would it? Alright, 79% there, so I will quickly. We're not going to want to... What the... Something is definitely wrong. Has he got an offset on him? Please don't have an offset. There's no offset. I haven't loaded the uh, combine, have I? I've loaded the... Wrong route. Oops. <laughs> Alright, well, stop. Right, nope, get out of there. <sighs> Dismiss back think about it come on we can do this i can get through it i loaded cut version which is six meter it's not a six meter header oops build the main 30 38 38 all right so clear the current course load combining field 38 activate oops well, that's a serious error of judgment there pipe out left stick is it up left stick? Yes. I'll empty it myself and I'll have to put him back on it. That was a shame. Really want the six metre header. I can't get one. The little class. Shame. I can get a bigger header. What was the bigger header? Or was it six one? If it fits, I don't know if it'll fit. 6.8, 7 metres. That's the, the 6.1 on the New Holland. Do we have a 6.1 in anything else? 7, 7, 6. The top liner. <laughs> yep, goes on there. I do like that combine. And it's quite cheap. But I've been using it on the other one. I've already got one of them. Oh, six, six, perfect. <laughs> oh, I'll, re I'll revisit that another day. Uh, there are some really weird 
punch am I oh I'm recording why am I recording no no I do not that was a mistake and a half wasn't it <laughs> oh dear right uh, so put the pipe in turn the combine on activate it because we're gonna have to send him back up here which is gonna make a real mess of the straw at this end of the field uh. it could have been worse could have been a lot worse I, don't, I think I've caught that early enough <laughs> oh well now at least we can get down where we need to go with the telehandler problem with visibility is bad there but we can see the mirrors we could yeah, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. I have a little bit of faith in my ability, and I'm going backwards. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, let's go make some money. Give it a nice wide swing. Should be all good. Yep. I can't remember where it was going. Oh, dear. Uh, looking at your phone while driving is never a good idea. The farm shop, that is... North, I believe. If I get this wrong, <laughs> oh, I can mark the place. I can't. Tag it. Go before we crash. Pretty sure. Yep, I see the beam. Get the drive through the village. We've not done friendly. Ah, I can't remember how to change from four wheel to not four wheel now and I've got that set up really well I honestly can't remember <laughs> uh, is it going to pop up in there somewhere yes it is ah cool it's actually just the front wheel now then oh my crabbing I'm definitely not crabbing Push the wrong button. Jump in the outside view, I can see. Yeah, that's just front wheel. Cool. So that was left, that should put us back up the far wheel. Yep. Right, front wheel only. Awesome. Makes going down the road so much easier. <laughs> so R B button, left stick, right stick. It just keeps you out of the crab. It makes a fast track a real good possibility again without having to mod it. But I do think I modded fast tracks downloaded. Slow them directors. It's been so long. I think one actually popped up in the sale. I was so tempted, but I am really happy with the Landini and the McCormick for this series. What it is but one of them alters the braking oh yes tweaked the uh, auto off button or auto off mod for the indicators as well so you have to turn a lot further now I didn't go with a timer so far it seems to be working out quite nicely just for the little corrections when you're coming up to the corner it was turning it off which is annoying I suppose with an actual steering wheel instead of an Xbox controller you don't get that <laughs> I can't beat this controller now this potential for all these buttons tied in here is brilliant if you could remember them all it'd be even better Get in there, get in there. Need to play more. Oh, that's going to be the end of the episode selling this guy, so we need a screenshot before I sell him. Before I commit. I'm thinking just on the corner turning in could be a real good opportunity. Ooh. Can we get a farm shop in the background? I'm going to put some effort into this one. Clear the corner, that's good. 
go here. Can I untag the place? I can untag the place, even better. That's cool. I like that one. Don't make the money around the corner. Probably should have the handbrake on. That's risking it a bit, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna make this corner. Yeah, I've plenty to spare. Right, and so here we go. Let's watch them all disappear. And the money go through the roof. But I can. Which one will stay back on? Check my fit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that was nice. That was real nice. <laughs> right, guys. On that note, I'm going to call it there. I'm going to hang on until we're ready, but we can afford the Veriton 470 Platinum Terra Track. Awesome. I think in the future, I'm going to stick with Sugar Beet. Let's enjoy it more. So we do have the mod to play with. Oh, the data boxes. So much to do. So much to play with. I was doing both. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And instead of using the terror track, I could always use the trailed one. Pops from in the sale. How much is it out of the sale? A lot. What about the beat? Yeah, jiggle beats are just the easier look. You don't have to be quite so gentle though, do you? There's a nice piece of kit. With like two metre working with, isn't it? Oh, 1.8. They're both 1.8, so not even 2 metres working with to pull them out. So much space required. I don't think I've actually looked at that one. That's cool. I'm thinking sugar beets are the way forward. If you can get messy with them. <laughs> right, guys. <laughs> we'll call it there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And we will catch you next time. Laters.